In Parsippany, New Jersey, the local community center is home to the Women's Theater Company, a professional theater led by Barbara Krakowski. And Barbara Krakowski, she's great. I mean, she's uh, she's an icon in town, and everybody loves her. I know I do. Oh, Barbara's terrific. She's very talented. She really knows theater. Tonight, you're going to see Spin. Spin. My mother has been so involved in theater and in theater companies around New Jersey for my whole life. I mean, I don't know her any other way, really. I don't know what it is. It's something so exciting. It's so live, it's so unpredictable. Different, tell me different. I we've, really want to know how you are different. Reports. reports. Our latest Something Low As You Can Go election reports. inspired Something Barbara to start her season deal. with Spin, about a scandal that threatens to ruin a popular candidate. Of course not, Mary, that wouldn't be you. This is not a threat, I'm not threatening. It's about a primary, you know, and it, it's hilarious. I've had to clean up some of it. I tell the audience, I took out everything that Trump wouldn't even say. <laughs> because it's, it's about a primary, you know, and the, uh, the, the, the campaign managers are, are rough. One's female, one's male. They're rough. I guess you think I'm pretty heartless, huh? I don't give a I say let's get this on national television so I can watch you die. You got a mouth on you like a sewer. You want to see human garbage, Jerry? Look around. What's his name? When I'm a candidate, I always have the one thing I say. If I take the shots, I call the shots. And I could see how the candidate in this show uh, was kind of like, he wasn't really calling the shots. Uh, his campaign manager was. We need to make a decision between now and then. She is going to ask you to withdraw before the debate tonight. I won't withdraw. I'm not happy. Brings back the campaign that's going on right now. It's uncanny that this was written 20 years ago, and yet it's so apropos in today's political environment. And while details are sketchy, sources tell News 10 that the allegations are of a sexual nature and involve at least one other man. If the audience is almost part of the show here in an intimate theater environment, so uh, people just enjoy it. It's wonderful that she, in the small space that she has, can not only produce a season, but that she has the opportunity to show plays, musicals, nights of cabaret. They offer such a wide range of live performances. For someone like my mother, I really do believe it is her lifeblood. It is her creative lifeblood. And you know, when I got involved here in New Jersey, my husband came with me, my children. I mean, Jane was literally born and I was in the theater the next week with her in a little bag, you know, while I'm doing something. You know, my husband loved it. Their daughter Jane, Tony award-winning star of stage and screen, shares her parents' love of the theater. As a child, my parents, instead of getting babysitters, would just bring me to every one of their shows and every one of their rehearsals, and my mom would be making costumes in our living room. And so I feel like it was sort of a part of every bit of our lives. And I do believe that is every reason why I love to do what I do and why I was lucky enough to get to do what I do. I think that when I'm in the theater, I get so excited and forget everything but what's going on. <laughs> I really love theater. I know you're looking at me like, okay. <laughs>